Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 78. Uh, for the episode ahead, I'm going to be kicking things off with an Abyssal Demon task. I'm going to be heading back to Sire as I need just one more piece for the Bludgeon to finish that off. So fingers crossed we can get lucky. I also mentioned at the end of the last episode that I was thinking of going for either 99 Prayer or 99 Construction as my next 99. Uh, comments are still rolling in on which one you think I should be going for, so I haven't made a decision just yet, but probably will start working on one of those in this episode as well. Sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Picked up an elite clue from Sire, can we get anything good? Wow. I'm surprised that's worth 200k, I guess it's the purple sweets. That is a shocking reward. Yes, there we go, another unsired. I've killed about 40 on task. This could be the last Abyssal Sire that I need to kill. I have two of the three bludgeon pieces and a pretty good chance of finishing off the bludgeon. Let's go and see what we can get. All right, what are we gonna get from this unsired? If I get the pet, I'm not gonna be disappointed. If I get the jar, I also don't think I'll be that disappointed. I'd be very happy to get the third and final bludgeon piece. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. Yes, there we go. That is the bludgeon done. Uh, I think there's something I need to do with this thing called the overseer to put the three pieces together. But um, that is Abyssal Sai completed. I don't think I'll be coming back here. All right, so I've handed over the three pieces to the overseer. And that is the bludgeon, which is pretty cool. I think this thing teleports away. Now, I probably should be reading this text, but not too bothered about the lore here. In terms of what I can use this for, I guess if I did ever want to go to the Nightmare, then this would be a handy weapon to have. If I do any Cowfight Queen, it will be handy possibly for raids, I think, maybe for Tecton. But um, it's a pretty cool looking weapon. Um, I'm very pleased to have finished off Sire. 381 KC, 4 inside in total. Um, yeah, pretty lucky to be honest. Hey, this Abyssal Demon task is treating me right. Another Abyssal Whip. Always nice to see. What the fuck? Um, That is at least my second Abbey Dagger that I've gotten from Abyssal Demons. I was looking at the amount I had in the bank earlier. I'm going to have to show you this because I think this might actually be my third one from Abyssal Demons. Okay, so earlier in the video I said that I had received four unsired from Abyssal Sire. I think I've actually had five because I distinctly remember getting two Abyssal Daggers from Abyssal Sire. Now my collection log does say that I've only received four, but I got a feeling that I had one really early on before the collection log was released. And that would mean that I've had three Abyssal Daggers from Abyssal Demons, which is... Ridiculous. There are one in... I can't remember if it's one in 16k or one in 32k. I will check, but... I'm honestly just dumbfounded to get one of those on the very last kill of the task as well. Duradel has assigned me the Chaos Elemental. I will kill three. I have no intention to do more than that. And uh, might be able to get a back-to-back -back boss task by using the Slayer Cape perk. And the pet chance on this is, is pretty low, so... Or pretty high. The drop rate is low, so the chance of getting it is high. I'm not high, I'm just stupid. Um, <laughs> let's go and, uh, and and do this. There's so much wrong with what I just said in the last clip about drop rates, let's just completely ignore it and never speak of it again. All right, got my Slayer Cape, can we get it back to back? No. Well, those are pretty rare, Dragon Knives. I think that's a one in 2000 drop from Drake's. I think I may have had these before don't think I've had the Throne Axes. Uh, nice little collection of those to add to the stack in the bank. Dagonoff task. I've not had one of these in a while. Going to head over to DKs. The bones are going to be really good for prayer. And uh, let's see if we can get any of the rings as well. Shield left half from Prime. No idea how rare that is. Had a fair few of these on the account now, so not that exciting to see. But yeah, pretty rare. Didn't get any other drops from that task, but did pick up a hard and an elite clue. What can we get? Nothing much from the hard, and nothing much from the elite either. Been ages since I've done a cuirass task, and uh, probably even longer since I've had a leaf bladed battle axe. Um, this is my 900th task, so I went to Konar and 
was assigned to kill these in the uh, Ioworth dungeon in Priftonus, that's why I'm here. Not many left, and it will be a good chunk of points for me as well. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I was waiting for some more comments on the previous episode with regards to what people thought I should be going for for my next 99. The choice was essentially between prayer and construction, and most people uh, seem to think that prayer should be the one I'll be going for next. So I will be giving the people what they want, and I'm going to start working on that. Definitely not going to be going straight for 99, and it's not going to be something I will finish this episode. As I mentioned, I think in the last episode, I've got 98 banks pretty much in bones and in sold heads so I'll start going through some of these this episode maybe get up to like 95 or something but as you can see from my inventory I've made some extended super anti fires and I'm going to be doing a little bit of Vorkath probably won't get anywhere near using all of these up but I had some lava scale shards that I needed to make into the potions so yeah it would be kind of nice to get a visage drop I don't think it's very likely I, I can't see myself doing more than a few hundred kills but um, yeah, there's always the chance, and it would be nice to get one. I've never had one in old school at all, so we shall see. 16 kills in at Vorkath, and picked up an elite clue. What can we get? Ooh, Royal Gown Top. I don't think I've had that before, so that's pretty cool. And uh, 98 elites done. Just a few kills later, got another elite clue. This is my 99th on the account. Bronze Dragon Mask. Not sure if I've got that. I'll have to check the house. But otherwise, that is a very standard Elite Clue reward. I'm one off from 100 now. Another Elite Clue, this is number 100. For nothing, as usual. <laughs> hey, a Dragonbone Necklace. Well, that is a unique. It's not a particularly useful one. I do have a Hydra Tail in the bank, so I can combine this with the uh, Necklace and the Bone Crusher. And that way I'm not losing a bank space at least. But yeah, first Vorkath unique, I guess. Alright, so I just hit 300 KC at Vorkath. I'm going to take a break now and actually start working my way through some of the prayer experience. I'm going to start with the Insold Heads. I think I'll probably get one level off of those, and then I'll move on to doing the Bones, which I will be doing at the uh, Wilderness Altar. But yeah, this will free up some bank space, which will be nice. There we go, that is 91 prayer. Eight levels left to go until 99, just making my way through the Insold Heads. Just got the rest of my Abyssal Demon ones and the Dragon ones, and then we'll be moving on to the Bones, which I'll be using in the Wilderness Altar. I had a couple of Elite Clues from Vorkath, I was going to save them, but uh, let's open them up, see what we can get. Master Clue and a Royal Gown Bottom, that's pretty cool. I got the top not too long ago. I don't know how many more pieces I would need to stick that in my house, but that's pretty cool. I think there's a crown to go with it. So I will attempt this master clue, and then come back and open this second elite after I've done that. That was an incredibly quick master clue. What can we get? Yeah, not much. And the second elite, also not much. There is 92, 93, 94. And that is 95 prayer. I think that is a good place to stop for the episode. I've been using the 2200 total level world, which has been an absolute godsend. I haven't seen a single PK here the entire time, but uh, I'll finish up the rest of these levels in the next video, I think. And that is it for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I've really enjoyed putting this one together. Um, some pretty good luck at the start of the video. I'm really pleased to have finished Sire and to have that bludgeon. Like I said, only a few niche uses for me really at this stage of the account, but it's a nice weapon to have and to be able to say that I've ticked off another boss really. And it's been good to start working on 99 Prayer 2. I've got 98 banked already. I'm going to need to do some more Vorkath. I think it's going to end up being possibly around another 300 350 kills it's kind of hard to calculate because it depends on how many of the dragon bone drops i get at the moment it's been roughly figuring out to be about one dragon bone per vorkath kill but that's a very rough estimate i think what i'm going to do after i'm finished is uh show what the loot i've received has been it's actually been a lot better than i was expecting there's some pretty useful drops from vorkath that i'm going to be able to make use of so that's been pretty good uh, if you did enjoy the episode, feel free to drop a like, and if you don't want to miss out on the next video, which will certainly see me getting 99 prayer, and other than that, actually, I don't know what else I'll be doing. I might be heading back to Slayer. We shall see. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have 
a great day whatever you're doing and hopefully see you back in time for the next one take care